uh, we can compare the images. So we are going to use the same concept here. What we are going to do here is we are going to open the same URL and here we are using some other thing. We are going to have some expected image. So which is our expected images? Whatever captured here is your expected image. Okay, like manual testing we used to say, right? Expected image, uh, we will compare it with the actual image. We are okay. going to keep some expected image. So, for example, let's think that this is our expected image. That is, our whole screen is our expected image. And we are going to compare it with our new image. Okay, new image means same process. Whatever we have done earlier. See, that uh, same lines of code I have used here. See, these three lines of code I have used in this also. So before that, what does mean by how to read that image? So normally, image io.write will read uh, write the image inside the folder. Image io.read will read the file. Okay, read the file. Read the file is in the sense it is going to read the file inside the D drive. It is going to read uh, orange hrm logo dot png and it is going to store it inside the expected image. But this expected image concept, the data type, you can say like data type or class name, whatever it is, we need to declare it as buffered image. Buffered image is our data type. Okay, okay you understood. So expected image is our, uh, we are going to read the file and we are going to store it inside the object name expected image. And that expected image, we are going to declare it as a buffered image. Uh, after that, we are going to read our, write our new image. We are not going to write, we are going to just capture the image. So again, if I run this program, it will show error. Uh, just a logo I am giving here. My dot x path here I have given only just the logo. But this image, whatever I have stored here is the whole website. If I run it now, what it will do is, it will say that images are not same. Both the images are different or images not same. It will display as images not same. But if I give the same path of ID wrapper, that same line, whatever I have given there means, it will say, compare the image and say that both the images are same. So let it execute. Before that, we will see. So what we have done here, same thing, driver.find element, by.x path of that particular image. And we are going to uh, say the same thing, a new a short dot take screenshot of driver comma logo image element. We are going to store it inside the logo image screenshot and screenshot uh, class. And now what we are going to do is, see images are not same. So what we are going to do here is, we are read the image. We have captured the image inside the screenshot, but we don't want to write it. I have already have an image, expected image there. I'm just going to compare the image. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to only get the details of the image. I'm going to store it inside the buffered image variable because this is also a buffered image. This is also a buffered image class. Instead of this, we are going to just logo image screenshot dot get image of, we are going to get the image details and we are going to store it inside the object name called actual image. So now both are buffered image. We are going to compare the expected image with the actual image. Mm -hmm. Okay. For comparison, we have a new class called image differ. This is a new class. Image differ, some object name is equal to new image differ of. In that image diff, we have again we are using a type. Type name is nothing but a method name uh, like that. You are going to give the image diff new variable name image diff dot make diff of actual image comma expected image. These are all standard methods. Okay, if you want to compare the image. You can use the same program multiple times. Only thing we are going to change is you can change the URL here and you can change the path here. That's it. Other than that, everything is going to remain the same. 
okay so for extra we are adding this part image differ is our class name and image diff is our type name and we are going to use the method called make diff we are going to compare the two different images so now we are going to say that diff has diff of is equal to equal to true if the images has diff of difference is there means images are not same if the diff image has difference and this is true means images are not same or images are same so these are the things you need to uh, do so uh, if i give the path name here uh, instead of this one if i am going to use i'm just going to comment it and i will use this that is the whole website as my path and i am going to execute it once again now images are same okay compare both the images and it says that the image which is stored in the d drive and whatever image i am capturing here is also both are same okay so the only thing is we are using new ai so as of now you need to download three ai jar files a short g sen ham crest all all these are in kbs so don't need to worry all these are some uh, kbs only small files so you can just download it and add it inside the excel build path uh, configure build path you are going to add all the files uh, jar files inside the external jar library and we are going to use this method and you will be getting all the import methods you can add it only here this a short these kind of things you will be having some confusion while importing these kinds of files see here you will be it automatically shows us a short only one it shows sometimes what happens is it will to show you too many things at that time you need to select only the import file which have a short here in this you need to select only the a short file here also the same thing we will be importing only the a short that is the thing mostly a short is your main api okay these are all uh, extra files that is uh, these gsen ham crest all are also used for some of the some codes see these are from google these are from google some methods small method something if you want to use means it will be available in the gsen and uh, ham crest all is also like that but the main repository that is the main jar file is a short only okay but you need this also to perform the operation this is for capturing the screenshot this will be used for storing it inside your os